Tarufalaba. My name is Yosefa Siatu. I am a Cardinal Points Captain Contractor under the National Marine Sanctuary of American Samoa. I am the Fiscal Administrative Assistant, but I also help out with our Education and Outreach Program. Plus, I am the main tour guide here at the Tau Isipi F. Sunia Ocean Center. I fell in love with the ocean at a very young age. My auntie used to love fishing. She would always go out fishing for the octopus. And I remember the first time she tried to take us out there. I was very hesitant, I was very scared. But after that first time out there, it quickly became one of my favorite things to do. Whenever she goes out fishing, I would always try to tag along it with It was her. in 2011. I participated in the annual Fautasi Longboat Races. The highlight of every Flag Day celebration is the Fautasi Races. After that first time out with the Fautasi crew, I think that was probably the second time I fell in love with the ocean. Just being part of the Fautasi, it's an indescribable feeling. It was the best feeling ever. And I highly suggest, you know, being on the Fautasi for anyone and everyone. So a typical day for me would be to set up both exhibit rooms here at the Ocean Center. First, we have our sanctuary exhibit room, and then we have our rotunda, the main exhibit room. Now in there houses the science on a sphere, which is the main attraction to the Ocean Center. We have visitors that come to the Ocean Center almost every day of the week. We have teachers that call in to book field trips for their students. This year, we've opened up our borders for cruise ships to come back to American Samoa. Whenever my group comes in, I guide them through, starting with the sanctuary exhibit room, and then I move them right along in the rotunda, and finally the science on a sphere. I have been fortunate enough to assist our education team with their events and programs. And just two years ago, we launched the National Marine Sanctuary of American Samoa's Ocean Tales Reading Program. And it was amazing just how captivated the students were through storybooks. And one of the favorite stories for the students was titled The Adventures of Gary and Harry. Now this was a really good story. It has a message about the effects of marine debris on marine animals. We also invited the American Samoa's governor and lieutenant governor's first lady and good lady to come and be a guest reader on some of the schools that we visited. One of the things that I am working on now is how to tell people about climate change. It's not easy to communicate such a complex topic, but we are seeing the effects here. Things like coral bleaching, sea level rise, and changing weather patterns. And these affect our people and our culture. Over the past decades, the oceans around our islands has been warming. Rising ocean temperatures are causing our corals to bleach more often. Before 2010, there were two recorded coral bleaching events in American Samoa. There have been three since then. You know, as Samoans, we depend on the reef for food. Coral bleaching um, affects our ability to harvest fish and other sea creatures like Palolo, Leula, Malefaisua. The corals have always protected our shorelines. Due to sea level rise and subsidence, the relative sea level in American Samoa has risen by 20 centimeters since 2009. Now, the government has built seawalls to protect our roads, but these walls make it hard for us to reach the water. Now, when the Atule or the Big Eye Scat come into Fangasa, it is hard for the villagers to reach the water and guide in the harvest using traditional methods. Some worry that these traditional methods will be lost. Some people are moving away from the shores because of sea level rise leaving their ancestral lands and community for much safer location. Now this is hard for people here because we can trace our heritage to these lands where our ancestors used to live. One of the most important things that we are doing is raising awareness about the ocean and climate change. We use the science on a sphere to share data sets and videos 
that talk about climate change and its effect on the ocean. We recently released a condition report for the sanctuary. It includes data from all of our sites and expert assessment of conditions. Unfortunately, climate is one of the biggest threats that our sanctuary faces. Our science team and visiting researchers are doing their best to understand climate impacts and keep our oceans as healthy as possible. This includes monitoring ocean acidification in Fontella Bay with a special buoy, collecting data on coral reefs, and even recording reef and whale sounds. We are also working on understanding how climate change may affect our people and our culture through efforts like the Fautasi Symposium, the Condition Report Workshop on Heritage and Sense of Place. We hope that these things will help us find ways to help our island meet the coming challenges from climate change. Please visit your National Marine Sanctuary of American Samoa's Facebook page and website for more information on how you can help fight climate change. I am Yosef Asiatu, Tofa Soifuo.